Now that you have received your Meyer Vision Scout Explorer, let's show you how to set up the device at the roadside. Use the shoulder strap that's shipped with the Scout Explorer to carry the device to the study location. There are also grip locations on the bottom of the unit and side handles that can be used to transport the unit. To reduce weight during transport, remove the batteries from Scout Explorer before carrying the device. They have a built-in handle to make it easy to carry them separately and have a battery life indicator. Place the device against a post or other secure structure for deployment. Ensuring the device sits flush with the base of the post and that the camera won't come into contact with any obstructions when extended. If the device does not sit flush with the mounting post, or if there are any obstructions, slide each mounting post spacer onto the back of the device, ensuring that the top of the bracket slides into the slot and the bottom slides over the hook as seen here. If necessary, adjust the spacer so that Scout Explorer will be straight when attached to the post. To reduce the spacing, turn the spacing post clockwise. To increase the spacing, turn the spacing post counterclockwise. To use the ratchet straps, you must deploy and lock each handle into place. To do this, first unlock your unit and open the front door. Then to extend the first handle, move the white grip to the left until it is fully extended and in line with the ratchet mechanism. Move the silver grip lock to the left until it springs forward. A release tab behind the grip on the handle allows you to adjust the position of the handle. To release the first handle, place two fingers on the release tab and lift it. While keeping the release tab lifted, move the handle all the way to the right until you hear a click. You will need to switch fingers holding the release tab. The position of the handle controls the strap's movement. Left position, the strap is locked. Right position, the strap can move freely. Middle position, the strap can be tightened by ratcheting the handle. Repeat these steps for the second ratchet strap handle. Please refer to the ratchet strap handle instructions provided with the unit for further assistance. Now pull out the first strap and wrap it around the mounting post, ensuring it does not twist. Then fasten the hook onto the anchor post. Slowly release the strap and it will tighten back into the device. Repeat this for the second strap. When ratcheting the straps, you may want to alternate between the straps to ensure the device is attached evenly and securely against the mounting post. On each handle, lift the release tab and move the handle into the middle until it clicks. To tighten each strap, ratchet the handle to the right and left. You may need to adjust the position of the device slightly to eliminate any gaps between the device and the mounting post. When both straps are tight, Lift the release tab and move the handle all the way to the left to lock the strap. To store each handle, pull back the silver grip lock and move it to the right, then fold the handle in. Note if the handles aren't fully collapsed, you won't be able to shut the door. Next, remove the ceiling collar tool from the accessory case. Place the ceiling collar tool on the ceiling collar, aligning the tabs on the tool with the teeth on the collar. Rotate the ceiling collar counterclockwise until it moves freely. To remove the ceiling collar cap, pinch the edges of the cap, or use the magnet on the end of the ceiling collar tool to draw the cap out, then place the cap in the accessory case. Lift the camera pole out of the device approximately one foot until you can see the seventh pole collar. When the seventh collar is visible, the pole turns slightly clockwise, indicating the device is now supporting the weight of the elevated pole. Take the camera out of the accessory case and make sure the camera and pole are free of any debris. Now place the camera on top of the camera pole, lining up the positioning inserts on the camera with the positioning grooves on the pole. Then turn the camera clockwise a quarter turn to tightly attach the camera. Make sure to attach the camera to the pole before you power on the device. If you power on the device first, the camera will not function properly. If this occurs, reboot the system. The camera includes a positioning knob to adjust the angle of the camera if required. The camera head will need to be pointed towards the middle of the area under study when the camera pole is fully deployed. The amount of tilting required will depend on how close the device is to the road, but is usually around 45 degrees. To adjust the angle, turn the positioning knob on the camera counterclockwise until the locking teeth separate and adjust the angle of the camera. 
Line up the locking teeth again, ensuring that they are fully engaged, and turn the positioning knob clockwise to lock the camera at that angle. The camera head should not be able to rotate. Now push each battery into the battery bay until locked in. If you are using an SD card and have not already inserted it, insert it now. Ensure to close the rubber cover after use. Before fully extending the camera pole, power on the device to confirm that there is no issues with the camera connection or obstructions on the lens by pressing Live View once the unit is powered on. Beginning with the smallest collar, collar 1, turn it counterclockwise approximately a quarter to a half turn. Lift the center pole until fully extended. A narrow gray marker indicates when it is fully extended. Tighten the top collar by turning it clockwise until it is snug. The pole section above is now deployed. Repeat this for sections 2 through 5. As you extend sections 5 and 6, use the security screwdriver from your accessory case. Insert the screwdriver into the hole on the side of the collar and tighten clockwise. Ensure not to over tighten. Now extend the final section and lock it into place. To lower the bottom portion of the camera back into the device, hold the camera pole and lift slightly. Then gently rotate it counterclockwise until it starts to drop. Now return to the live view on the unit to ensure your camera is correctly positioned to capture the area of study. If you need to adjust the camera position, Lift the pole up very slightly to release it from the locking grooves. Rotate the pole to face the camera in the right direction, then lower the pole again. To ensure that the camera pole is settled into the correct position, slowly rotate the camera pole until it no longer rotates. Do not force it. If it does not rotate at all, it engaged correctly with the locking grooves as you lowered it. To tighten the ceiling collar, rotate it clockwise by hand, then place the ceiling collar tool on the ceiling collar and turn it until the collar is tight. We recommend checking the battery life and SD card capacity to ensure that data will be captured for the full length of the study without interruption. Once you have confirmed the setup and study configuration, close the door and lock it. Scout Explorer is now ready to record the roadside study.